How's it going guys? Welcome back to Manti Gaming. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about uh, the five things that I believe should be updated in RuneScape. Um, updated, changed, uh, edited, uh, whatever you want to say. Um, the top five updates, in my opinion, that we could use right now. Um, a lot of them are smaller. Um, I decided to make this video because of the fact that I've been covering a lot of like the uh, RuneScape updates lately. And I do plan on continuing creating, uh, creating more videos about the RuneScape updates. Uh, recently, Jagex has been talking about doing a lot of ninja fixes. So maybe they'll watch my video, who knows, and they'll actually see some of these updates that I would love to, to be seen. Um, if you agree with these updates, you know, you can feel free to post in the comments below. If you've got your own ideas for updates or stuff that you would like to see change, you can feel free to po uh, post those in the comments below as well. Anyway, again, jump right into it with uh, number five. And now these are not really in any particular order. They're just, they're just top five of the things that I'm uh, really interested in seeing change. All right, so the first thing here is going to be click boxes. So one of the greatest examples of click box fails, in my opinion, is right here when it comes to, uh, yeah, the Apatol course. So as you see right here with my mouse, randomly right here, you can climb down this ladder or this rope and that's it just right there. Also, if you go up to the top, nothing, no click box at all at the connecting part, nothing on the tree, only right there at the very bottom of the rope itself. So you have to literally click a little like like right on the rope or just below the rope you also have to click at this super random spot that you can't even actually hit if you're at the weird angle this is super weird anyway this should all be able to be clicked or at least just a much more clear click box because doing the course like this is a complete an utter pain now i literally can't find it okay there we go no wait that's the examine hang on hang on uh wait i can do this there we go click oh that's not even for the right tree wow okay so literally you just have to click right here um in my opinion this whole thing right here should be a click box just you know at least the beginning here so you can click on the rope itself or something but anyway that's number five on number four moving into number four on our countdown is the construction skill so the construction skill in my opinion is a horribly designed skill now don't get me wrong it definitely has some things that are very useful to go along with it such as you know obviously the armor repair stand and like a lot of other things like storing your pets and storing your capes and everything like it definitely has some very useful things in it but what really drives me nuts about the construction skill is the way you train the construction skill there is no enjoyable way of training the construction skill if you find if you find ripping apart the floats and prawn broker and repairing it a billion times to be entertaining then there probably is something wrong with you also the only really option that is even remotely almost okay to do is like working at a workbench and doing flat packs but it's incredibly slow in comparison to doing the like you know the actual manual labor so if you want to try to be efficient in runescape you just honestly have to do the thing that causes carpet tunnels so in my opinion when the only way to train the skill efficiently is to give yourself maybe a debilitating condition in the real world it's time to update your skill all right guys the next one here is going to be the fairy ring system so the fairy ring system is a system that I enjoy and I, I like how Jagex has placed the fairy rings for the most part. Um, I also like how there's fairy rings that are in totally random places. It, it, it kind of creates a fun element to RuneScape. Um, but the one big complaint that I have about the fairy ring uh, system is the fact that when you use the fairy ring system, you get sent to Xanaris. Um, so going from the fairy ring to Xanaris and then using this fairy ring to go to the other fairy rings is kind of annoying. Um, I don't really understand why you can't just go from any fairy ring to any other fairy ring. Um, it just seems like you're having a pointless trip over here to Xanaris. Um, the other thing also is that, uh, you know, it, it would be nice if you could also on top of that just right click it and then use your quick fairy ring because if you have to go into this, uh, you know, into this whole interface right here, you know, obviously you've got your favorites, you know, you can set fast teleport. Um, but the only thing is though is it's only moderately faster than actually just going over to your travel log and doing it from there um having favorites over here is kind of pointless when the fact that you can scroll through your list of things extremely quickly um it's not really saving you a whole lot of time and in, in, in my honest experience i haven't seen it save me any time at all um it would be pretty cool if i could literally have my quick saved one so i can right click and then just choose one or two options right here and then just go straight to it and also not have to go to Xanaris in the first place. 
All right, guys, number two here is gonna be Crystal Tools. So this one drives me nuts, and I'm sure it drives other people nuts as well. If you have Crystal Tools, um, the only way to really make these work for your presets is to basically pre-activate all of them to make them at like, you know, you know, in, in, instead of them being unused. So if you go here and you check them, uh, whoops, one second, check charges, there we go. So it says your item has not been used yet. When they've not been used, they stack in your bank. Um, and then you can have your preset uh, include one of the unused crystal hammers just by, you know, you know including in your preset. The only issue is after you started actually using the crystal hammers, um, if you preset a used crystal hammer, it will just, you'll eventually not have a crystal hammer and you will have to manually equip it. Um, the other way to like, or we're not really the other way, but the one way to get around this is to basically go in here and equip all these crystal hammers or the, or whatever other crystal weapon you're trying or tool you're trying to use. You equip all of these in order to activate all of them, take up a massive amount of bank space, and then that way you'll be able to, uh, instead of presetting a uh, an unused hammer or chisel or whatever, you can you can uh, then uh, preset a used one. That way it actually pulls it up during the presets. Um, I do crafting often by cutting gemstones uh, recently, uh, and this has been a huge pain because I have my unused chisels stacked up. Um, and then every time that I want to, um, you know, use up my, like, a chisel, then I have to actually go back in and re-equip a new one uh, manually. That way the preset actually pulls it up because of the fact that it, my preset is set to pull up a used chisel. Um, it can't be that hard to fix this. <laughs> um, it would just be really nice if, you know, the, the, that way could be smoothed out a little bit. I totally understand that, you know, stacking the, the used up ones or the partially, not really used up, but partially used crystal tools is kind of a difficult concept because of the fact they can be at all at different, um, you know, percentages, but maybe just change the way that entire thing is done or something because it is extreme pain to take up all that space if you're trying to make it so you can use a bunch of presets. All right, guys, so number one, and I kind of unintentionally actually did kind of go in order as to what I would like to see changed. Um, maybe you'd move construction number two, but actually these are pretty accurate to the one to how I'd like to see them change. Uh, the fairy ring one's probably number five in all honesty if I was trying to literally put them in order of uh, the ones I want to the most. Um, but this one right here is the one I actually want the most um, because currently there's not really any way to see this. Um, it actually also brings up another one that I will kind of mention here that's not really going to go on my list, but here's this one. Uh, this one is quite simply, why is there no timer to let you know that your masks are available to force a task? Um, if you look here, there is not, there is no option, even in the exam, and there is no option to be able to see when your mask is ready to be used again. Now this is not a big deal for the ones that you can use every single day, like the Helm of Warping to get Abyssal Demons, but if you're trying to use one like the Mask of the Gamma Dermic or like, you know, the Helm version or whatever, where you can only do it every 72 hours, uh, also, you know, like the Frozen one, uh, frozen Worm for the Ice Strike tasks, um, it's extremely annoying to not know if you're ready to force a task or trying to like keep it down on a piece of note, like a note paper or something like that, which I'm not going to do. Um, it's super, super annoying because I will wear the, uh, the Ice Strike mask over to the Slayer Master expecting to be able to force the task. Um, and then just to find out that it's only been two days and not been three days because I didn't keep track of the resets or some stupid crap. It's super, super easy, Jagex. All you have to do, honestly, is just make it so that when you click examine, it'll show up over here saying that it's ready to be used again. The exact same way that a aura is because auras have a timer remaining. If you could possibly please add a timer remaining to the... Uh, uh, the Slayer masks or just have a thing that says they're ready to be used that would be so Awesome because it is super annoying to not know if I'm missing a day or if I'm trying to go too early or something like that For trying to use the masks that are only every few days um, Another great way to fix this is you could just make all the masks uh, activate at, at reset once again um, You know that would also be kind of cool because it's very easy to keep track of the ones that reset every single day um, And I don't really understand why I can only go it, it, it's it's always been confusing why I'm able to do abyssal demons every single day, but then Ganodermics are every three days. It you know it's it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. I guess maybe they, they think that uh, you know well they are higher level ones I guess so maybe they think those are better. Um, anyway, it, those would I would love to see a rework on those. That would be so cool. I think it would be very convenient to me. If you agree, then please put it in the comments below. Maybe we'll get it done. Um, 
The other thing that I would like to mention that kind of goes along with this is the fact that there's not really a whole lot of counters or timers for other things in RuneScape. Uh, especially things that are kind of vital to have a timer for or, or a counter for. Um, if we're talking about the Amlod section where you have to go and give the uh, the cores to the Amlod guy in order like when you kill the the dark the dark spirit beast whatever they're called the shadow creatures um, and you get the core drops and then you're supposed to turn them into Amlod there's not currently any way that I know of to be able to check how many of those you've actually turned in. That's a huge problem when you don't know if you've actually completed one of the sections and maybe you don't need to be killing those anymore now it's time to go kill the small ones but you have no idea because there's no way to check the counter. Um, it just seems extremely weird how there's no counter for that. There's counters for a lot of other things like if you have your grotesque armor you can see um, you know the counters on that. Actually when it comes to the grotesque armor and stuff like that I'm pretty sure that you have to actually go and train it in order to see what your timer is at so or your counter is at so it would be nice if you could actually just find a way to to check that as well maybe by hovering over the grotesque armor or something like that you can check it um, when you go into titles when you go into your titles uh, there are it does actually show if you go right here let's go into miscellaneous titles uh, of the Amlod well I've already completed that one. Let's look at the ones I've not done. Uh, anyway, I, you know what? I, I'm, I'm probably not going to sit here and try to find this and make this one. Oh, there we go. Right there. Look at this. It's so nicely set up in here that if I'm trying to see uh, how far away I am from unlocking this title, for example, it says this title is unlocked by defeating Kadarn Elves in Perfidiness. So, 503 out of 1,000. Super easy! Now, why is it that we can't have a little bitty thing like that uh, below the uh, the task for the completionist cape or whatever for, for being able to see how many shadow creatures you've killed? So, it's a very, very, very easy fix. Um, hopefully, they'll notice it. Maybe it's just something that Jagex just really hasn't noticed, which is totally, un totally understandable because it is a very big game. There's a lot going on in the game. And there's a lot of stuff that needs to be changed and stuff like that or needs to be updated. So I'm sure these, I'm sure my list of five, actually six things, um, is, you know, just stuff that they really haven't gotten to yet. But anyway, that's my big Christmas list of stuff that I would love to see change now that they're supposedly uh, increasing the number of ninjas that they have. Um, you know, maybe, uh, I, you know what, I think I'll actually link this on my Twitter, that way they can see this video. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video, um, I will see you guys in the next video. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, it helps to get the videos um, shared with other people. Um, and be sure to be a subscriber if you would like to see the new upcoming stuff. Also, uh, a big announcement, um, my new uh, Twitter is at RSManatiGaming. Um, so if you guys would like to sign up for a Twitter, um, or not really sign up for Twitter, but follow me on Twitter. Uh, basically, I'm going to be putting my stream schedules on there. I'm also going to be putting more information on there, such as contests and stuff like that. Uh, and, and any Anything that really wouldn't be in a video that would be more like channel news kind of stuff is going to be posted on there. That's probably going to be the first place you're going to see that kind of stuff. So anyway, go over there and check it out, at RuneScape Man T Gaming. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.